Um, so now over here, we've got um, we got basically the ball that this guy was just throwing. Um, so you can pick. I got lots of different balls: cricket ball, field hockey, golf ball. Yeah, because who doesn't want to see what an 80 mile an hour golf ball? How far it up travel? Um, lacrosse, racquetball, one of those soft impact baseballs, bouncy ball, softball, tons of squash balls, tennis ball. Okay, then on top of that, you can also pick um, the, the design, basically. So if you've ever played baseball, or uh, I've played tennis a lot, so I've seen it in tennis. Um, you've got these, like, uh, multicolored balls on the seams, Um what those are for are basically, um, they help you see the spin more, um, so you can read it. So basically, like, if we just went, okay, n another thing about this is reset all, resets them all to 50, and it puts all of them on, basically, as you can see. Um, and then I think it resets to 50, too. Um, so, like, you can basically read the spin better with this, <clears throat> um, because you can actually see the colors moving around. So, like, you know, we couldn't really see the cutter moving, really, when we were doing playing before. But, like, if you take a look now, see how that was spinning? You could tell that was kind of going like this. Um, that was flat, so you could tell that was a, uh, knuckleball. Add a little bit of uh, backspin and sideways spin, those two seamer. That was really fast, you couldn't tell. Um, but you can see, you can you can easily read that spin. Oh, that was really spinny. Um, so basically, um, and you know, he, he'll throw different, I mean, it's not gonna be same spin every single time, just like in real life. Uh, even good pitchers are gonna throw, you know, no spin sometimes. Or, heavy heavy spin so that's exactly what he's doing um, he, he may throw good spin heavy spin um, good thing to show right now is if you want more spin bump this up um, eight was probably a little bit too high actually but yeah you see that just like drop big time uh, oh yeah see uh, yeah, so you basically, if you're playing someone that's got, like, you know, really good pitch, um, you want to bump that spin factor up, basically. Remember, it goes to 100. Um, man. So, um, oh, yeah, and that goes off every 10 minutes. All right, guys, so uh, I went into my editor and changed the settings for the... Uh, how much force you need to hit for the bat to break because um, usually it's about 80 miles an hour and it's hard for me to hit 80 so I wanted to show you guys the bat actually breaking so let's show you guys that right now and the colored bats will break too obviously um, Set that to something I can hit pretty easily. Okay, now remember if you hit in this area, this is where it will break. So we'll hit a few normal ones. Foul ball. And then I'll show you, I'll hit one on purpose in the handle. Foul ball. All right, let's try and hit one in the handle now. Foul ball. Foul ball. Foul ball.
see if I can't show you guys that. Each one has a high visibility is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can see, if uh, I like the high visibilities because I'm not a high, you know, good baseball player yet, so I want to be able to, you know, train, read that spin. Um, then gold, we talked about that in the first one, um, first main menu video. Um, if you get past a certain criteria um, on my server, it will unlock gold ball. Uh, I guess you can actually see that if he pitches one out. Let's see if he pitches one out. Yeah, that's gold right there. Okay, so um, next thing is the weather because I thought you guys would like to train in weather. Um, you know, we're not inside, inside a you know a dome. Um, most baseball is outside. So right now, if you take a look up there, it's it's, uh, it's pretty sunny actually. So if uh, you want to change that, you can do some overcast with some rain. It's pretty stormy out now. And you can see right here, uh, it's rain right there. Uh, light rain because, you know, can't play on a uh, muddy, muddy field. Um, you can turn on the wind if you want. But basically... Uh, all four directions with the wind it will flatten out you know flatten out or give the ball more spin depending on the backspin top spin all that um i'll show you real quick we got sunset we've got um evening And you can turn you can always turn off the lights. It gets a little darker. A little bit evening darker. Kinda like uh, right before dark. And then you've got night. Night's just pitch black. Um very easy to see those fireworks on night. And um um, let's go back to Sunny. Okay, now over here, you may want to record your game. Um, like I'm recording these with the uh, just on the desktop, basically. Um, sorry for the bobbles of the headset. Um, but basically, um, I thought you may want to record it in 360 actually too, um, because you can you can record actually what you're seeing. I thought that'd be cool. You know, show your friends or watch it yourself to retrain. So that's what I did. Built one of those. So you could do 4K, HD, 2K, whatever, 30, 60 frames a second. Um, and you can record actually what you're seeing uh, and play it back. Um, now, if we, that's a VR view. Um, baseball views is actually recording a camera on the baseball, so you'll see it fly at you. Um, you can put it wherever you want. Catcher view, you'll, you'll see what the catcher, first base, you can see what the first base guy is seeing. Um, you can even put them in the crowd um, all over the place. Picture view, what, what he's seen when you're batting. Um, you can put them, I think I have them all over. You can put them on the top row, the bottom row, um, back here, over there, over there. Um, it's just basically everywhere. Um, television view, you know, you got that view right behind the pitcher in the sky, kind of. Um, and then my favorite, VR baseball view. That's basically VR view, so that's what you're seeing. 
Um, and then when you hit the ball, it will switch off of your view and go on the ball view. So you can actually, you, you see what you see, you hit it, and then it, um, it then watch, your camera then goes on the ball and you can actually watch the flight path of the ball. Um, so that's my favorite one to do when recording. Um, and it tells you that right there. Um, so, trying to think if there's anything else. And there's a lot of menus. We covered that quickly. Um, random times, just, you know, between two times. Um, I did the colors. We did that. Um, Okay, so now let's go to the, um, let me show you the targets and then we'll talk about what that game item pack was. Um, if you don't really care about targets or game item pack, and you can quit watching right now, but, okay, so targets. Let me put this bat down for a second. If you want to practice your placement, you know, in tennis you did that a lot. I don't know about baseball, but I'm pretty sure you do probably. Um, in baseball, you can select a target. Um, Barrel's obviously easier to hit. And <laughs> as you can see, we're getting lots of them. Um, I kept clicking accidentally. So you can pick this up and, you know, move it somewhere. Literally walk it out somewhere. So say we want one, you know, we want one right in this area. Okay. And you can go back and whatever. So then when you're playing against this guy over here, you can try and hit that target down um so basically you know same thing with the cone i don't need that right now um and then basically um it's kind of a lot of work um so what i did was you can save same thing like this keyboard will pop up type in um you can so you only have to do it once basically set up your little custom target thing and then you can save it and then load it um so you only have to do this once um if you don't want to do that instead and you can delete it too um you can just pick a default so we select infield we've got infield we've got outfield and then you just erase them doesn't erase the ones you you put so you're gonna have to move those from behind the menu to something um, so then basically oh yeah these don't auto clean um, I know some games have where you throw in a trash or you, you tell it to you know um, to not be on a menu most of my stuff auto cleans um, this doesn't but like bat all the balls do obviously the bat um I'll see it over there. Okay. And then it's in our bat. This time we'll do a um uh, do metal. Now bat's gone, so bat's auto clean. Um last part would be the uh the um A game item pack. So for a game item pack, I don't really know why I put this in, but it's, I guess, really realistic. Um, you're going to need, obviously, the uh, pitching machine to do this. Set it to true. Um, so what the game item pack is all about is basically you're going to actually, like in real life, get a bucket of balls and put it in there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop this for now um so we want we want baseball we'll go standard and right, we'll do high visibility and then you pick do you want 10 25 50 or 100 just do 10 for a demonstration then you can grab the little handle of your pack and bring it over here walk it over and then now, you can't put it in like that. 
It's not realistic, right? Remember, this is realistic. That's my whole large dog figure studio theme. So, so you got to put it in. I actually wasn't realistic, but put it in. Um, normally, sometimes you have to put it in like this. Um, you got the button to eject it, and then you take this. Remember, this is on automatic, basically. And you just start pitching. So then it will it will cycle through just like a uh, normal pitching machine would. If you're like, you know, like, um, um, we'll, we'll let it, we'll let it go. And then I'll show you guys one more thing on it and then we'll be done with this video. Um, I guess we can look at it. It's got, you know, all your different menus and, um, I was going to originally have the, uh, little knobs over here with the uh, spin and the speed but decided man that's that's really hard to read it's better to probably do that on the menu um, and this tells you right up there if you're looking at the pitch pitch amount left um, obviously that tells you how much is in that pack um, and then basically um, Oh, and one other thing, when you set that forcing fastball speed, um, you know why we set it at 70, but it was throwing like cutter at like 65, 60 or something? That's because um, it calculates um, how fast um, how fast someone should be throwing a cutter if they were throwing the forcing at that speed. Um, so as you can see, when it's done, it ejected itself, and then it cleans itself. Um, so we're gonna go grab one more real quickly. Just to show you the last part and and to put it in properly. So most of the times you have to put it in like that. Start it. And then if you're like, you know, like wait a minute, I don't wanna play this. I wanna do softball or whatever, um you can just hit this eject button. There you go, and it won't auto clean. They won't auto clean if they're full. So um, that's how you know. If one doesn't disappear, it has balls in it. So put it in again and start it up again, exit out, whatever. So uh, that's it for the batting practice. This is probably where you're going to spend most of your time because it's just, it's kind of all the modes of batting mixed into one. Um, it's perfect for. For training, um, you've got loads of different options you can change. Um, you've got all different types types of different things you can change on it, and um, and all of that stuff. So that's it for this video, and the next one we'll do more. Thank you for watching.